अलैकुम और ओरिएंटल पब्लिक स्कूल की तरफ से रिकॉर्ड की जाने वाली इन वीडियो क्लासेस के तीसरे दिन के सेशन में आप सबको खुश आमदी ये लेक्चर थ्री क्लास की इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट के लिए रिकॉर्ड किया जा रहा है लेक्चर की तरफ बढ़ने से पहले कुछ इम्पोर्टेंट बातें जो मैं आपको बताना चाहती हूँ वालदेन से मेरी ये गुजारिश है कि वो अपनी मौजूदगी में बच्चों को ये वीडियोस दिखाएं ताकि वो वीडियोस की बजाय आपके दिए हुए जो भी डिवाइस है लैपटॉप है या मोबाइल है या जो भी चीज़ है उस पर किसी और फजूल एक्टिविटी में अपना टाइम ज़ाया ना करें दूसरी बात ये कि जहाँ कहीं आपको लगता है कि आपके बच्चे को कोई बात समझ नहीं आई तो आप लोग हमसे कॉन्टैक्ट कर सकते हैं व्हाट्सएप के थ्रू या उसी वीडियो के साथ कमेंट करके भी आप अपना क्वेश्चन लिख सकते हैं भिजवा सकते हैं वो हम तक पहुंच जाएगा और आपको हर किस्म के सवाल का जवाब मिल जाएगा सो so, इसके बाद चलते हैं अपने सबक की तरफ आज हम डॉरथी मिस द स्केयर क्रो के थर्ड पार्ट की तरफ जाएंगे सो स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द स्टोरी डॉरथी मीट्स द स्केयर क्रो I want to ask some questions about the previous part of the story. Um, uh, can anyone tell me where was Dorothy sitting? Where was Dorothy sitting? Very good. Your answer is correct. Dorothy was sitting on a fence. Dorothy was sitting on a fence which was made around a corn field. Which was made around a corn field. My second question about the story is, what was the scarecrow made of? What was the scarecrow made of? Very good. Your answer is correct. Scarecrow was made of a sack. which was stuffed with straw the scarecrow was made of a sack which was stuffed with straw um why do people fix a scarecrow in the fields can anyone tell me Why do people fix a scarecrow in their fields? Exactly, scarecrows scare the birds away. Scarecrows scare the birds away from the fields. Scarecrow scare the birds away from the fields. After the recap, we are back at your textbook. This is your textbook and I have opened page 2 and 3 of your book. Now the name of the story is Dorothy Meets the Scarecrow. Today we are reading the second paragraph on page 3. Second paragraph on page 3 while dorothy was looking at the painted face of the scarecrow she was surprised to see one of the eyes slowly winked at her while dorothy was looking at the painted face of the scarecrow she was surprised to see one of the eyes slowly wink at her dorothy was looking at the painted face painted face means he, the scarecrow did not have a real face he did not have a nose or eyes or mouth so someone had painted eyes ears nose and mouth on his face someone had painted a face on um the scarecrow 
uh, she she was surprised to see one of the eyes slowly winked at her when dorothy was looking at the painted face of the scarecrow she was surprised she was amazed surprised surprised dorothy was surprised to see one of the eyes slowly wink at her wink means open and close quickly open and close quickly now dorothy was looking at the scarecrow and one of the eyes open and close quickly at him it made the dorothy feel really amazed she was surprised to see that a non living thing could move the eyes of course scarecrow was a non living thing we make the scarecrows out of whatever material we want so scarecrow is a non living thing and it is a very uh, surprising thing to see them move to see them move their eyes to see them move their head or whatever hands or feet so dorothy was very surprised to see one of the eyes slowly wink at her she thought she might have imagined it she thought she was thinking that maybe it just happened in my mind it can never happen that a scarecrow move his eyes so it might have happened in my mind it might happen it might have happened in my mind now the word imagine means thinking in our thoughts now some of the students imagine their life after becoming a pilot and they imagine that when they will become pilots they will fly airplanes imagining means thinking imagining means thinking so when dorothy saw the scarecrow was winking at her she thought that this cannot happen it might have happened in my mind but to her her surprise let's see what happened then the scarecrow nodded its head now the scarecrow was moving his head scarecrow nodded its head it's it moved its head to her now he was standing straight and then he moved his head to dorothy in a friendly way now he did not scared he did not want to scare dorothy so he uh, moved in a friendly way so that dorothy is not frightened he did not want to scare the dorothy so he nodded his head in a friendly way dorothy climbed down from the fence you can see that she is sitting on a fence so she climbed down she came down from the fence and walked up to it walk up to it means walked to the direction of scarecrow walk towards the scarecrow walk towards the scarecrow it doesn't mean that dorothy was walking up the scarecrow up to the scarecrow means towards the scarecrow now toto ran around the pole and barked you may see that dog the dog is sitting by the fence and he also noticed the scarecrow was moving so he was also very surprised he jumped into the field and he started running around the pole he started running around the pole of the scarecrow and he started barking okay bark is the o sound of the dog bark is the sound of dog after the completion of reading I want you to have a look at the new words that came across while reading today. I want all of you to have a look at the new words that we read in the um, reading session today. The first word was 
गुड डे गुड डे गुड डे मीन्स हेलो हेलो गुड डे इज यूज इन द सेम वे एज वी यूज गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग एंड गुड आफ्टरनून एक्सेट्रा सो इट इज यूज एज हेलो द नेक्स्ट वर्ड दैट वी हैव इज वंडर 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 हैज टू मीनिंग्स बट इन द गिवन कॉन्टेक्स्ट इट मीन्स सरप्राइज वंडर मीन्स बींग सरप्राइज दट डॉरथी आस्ट दट हाउ कूड यू स्पीक दट शी आस्ट दिस क्वेश्चन इन वंडर इन अ सरप्राइज मैनर surprised surprised the next word that we have is certainly certainly now one thing that you have to notice about this word is that this c is giving you a sound it is not k sound sir then l and this a is not giving you complete a sound so it is giving you a sound sir turn l certainly 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 means of course certainly means of course now if you remember that dorothy said you are speaking scarecrow said yes of course indeed obviously of course of course the next word is replied replied when someone ask you something when someone ask a question from you and you are answering so you are replying replied means answered replied means answered replied means answered answered if someone ask you how are you or someone ask you how old are you you answer them you reply them replied answered replied answered now be careful about reading the word answered because uh, some of the student read it correct just the first part at the first part answer but when they say ed here they call it answered it is not answered it is answered this e is kind of uh, absent here it is silent answered answered the next word is politely 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 means nicely nicely politely means nicely 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 politely means nicely scare 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 means frighten scare means frighten scare means frighten scare means frighten now this man is scared of the shadow this man is scared of this shadow scare means frighten scare means frighten frighten scarecrow scare the birds away from the fields scarecrow scare the birds away from the fields now this was all for today uh, now is the turn of your homework now is the time that you get your homework for your homework i am giving you uh, some calligraphy work and in your calligraphy calligraphy you have to write something in a very neat handwriting and for that i am giving you uh, these words meanings you have to note all these words meanings in your neat copy 
and you have to learn them as well. This new vocabulary that you learned today is your written homework, but I am telling you again that it is a calligraphy homework. It is a neat handwriting homework. So you have to do it here, um, uh, it in your neat copy in a very good handwriting. And I hope you will try your best to do it um, in a very good way. You have to write these words meanings. Okay, when you're writing the uh, words meanings, uh, don't forget to mention the subject. Don't forget to mention the subject on the uppermost line on, of your page and then you will write the unit number and after that you will write the name of the unit. Unit number, unit name and then you will start writing these words meanings. I hope you learned a lot today uh, and I also hope that you enjoy it a lot. This was all for today. I hope that you will learn.